Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at finding the tangent to a curve. Let's start by finding out what a tangent is. So I've got a curve here drawn and I'm going to draw a tangent to it. And the tangent is just a straight line that touches the curve uh, at one point. It's like it skims the curve at that point. I've got another curve here and I've got a tangent drawn at this point. Finally, I've got this curve, and a tangent is drawn here, and it's a tangent at this point. This tangent also crosses the curve over here, but it's, that doesn't count. The tangent only matters if it skims the curve at one point. If it crosses again, that's okay. So these are tangents here, and the tangent is a straight line that touches the curve at one point. The tangent has the same gradient as the function at that point, and this is really important. It has to have the same gradient as the function at that point. Now, to find the tangent, we have to, step one, find the y one of the point of intersection. Step two, find the gradient of the function at the point of intersection. We're going to use differentiation for this here. If you don't know how to differentiate, you need to watch my video on differentiation before we continue. Then step three, we're going to use the gradient and the coordinate to find the straight line. Y equals mx plus c, which has the same gradient and goes through the same point. If you're not familiar with y equals mx plus c, you need to watch my video on y equals mx plus c before we continue. So, example. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve y equals x times 1 minus x at the point where x equals minus 1. Step 1, we're going to find the y coordinate of the point of intersection. Point of intersection means where the um, tangent and the curve cross over, so that special point where they touch. To find this, we're going to start by substituting in x equals minus 1. As we know the x coordinate, we're going to find the y coordinate. So all we do is replace the x with minus 1, like this, and you can type that into your calculator if you want to, you get y is equal to minus 2. So the coordinate of intersection is minus 1 across and minus 2 down. Okay, step 1 is done. And there we can see it here, I've drawn this red curve, that is the curve y equals x times 1 minus x, and you can see this point does lie on the curve perfectly. Now step two, we're going to find the gradient of the function at the point of intersection. And we're going to use differentiation here. So we start with y equals x times 1 minus x, the equation of the curve. We expand the brackets, so it's x minus x squared, and we differentiate. If you are not perfectly sure about this step, you need to watch my video on differentiation. So dy over dx is equal to 1 minus 2x. And now we're substituting x equals minus 1. So we find the gradient of the curve at that point. And we get the gradient is 3. Now I've got this here. This is the, a black line that has a gradient of 3. And you should be able to see that it's roughly uh, parallel to the curve at that point. But we don't know how high or low that black line goes. So now we're going to find the plus c on the end of the black line to see how we can get that black line to cross at the point minus 1, minus 2. And so step 3, use the gradient and the coordinate to find the straight line y equals mx plus c. So we know y equals mx plus c, and we know that the gradient is 3. So here the m is 3. We substitute that in. So we knew m was 3 from the previous slide, step 2. And then we also uh, substitute in the coordinates where they cross over. Minus 1, minus 2. So x is minus 1, y is minus 2. And we put those into this equation here. y equals 3x uh, plus c. x is minus 1, c is uh, y is minus 2. So 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, and you rearrange this, you add 3 to both sides, get c equals 1. 
And so we get y equals 3x plus 1 is the equation of the straight line. And I've got that drawn for you here. You can see the blue line here has a gradient of 3 and it crosses at 1. And you'll see that it is a perfect tangent at this point over here. Okay? Okay. Now, practice. Uh, we've got the curve y equals x squared minus 4x plus 2 at the point x equals 4. I want you to try to find the equation of the tangent to this curve. So pause the video, take as much time as you want, and when you're ready, I'll reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. So step 1, we find the y coordinate, and you just put the x coordinate in, and you get y equals 2. Step 2, we're going to differentiate. And when we substitute x equals 4 into the derivative, we get the gradient is 4. Step 3, y equals mx plus c, y equals 4x plus c. And we substitute uh, y equals 2 from step 1, and x equals 4 from the question into y equals uh, 4x plus c, and we get c is minus 14. And that's the final answer, y equals 4x minus 14. And I've got this drawn over here. There we go. The tangent in blue is the equation y equals 4x minus 14, and that's a perfect tangent to the curve at that point. Okay. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope it helps with your exams. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for future videos. Thank you.